Hey, we're going to be feeding the bees today. I'm going to top off the jars for the bee colony, so stay tuned. Hello folks, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Uh, today I need to feed the bees uh, since there are uh, two new colonies because I did a split a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I did actually two splits. So I got two full hives and two split hives. So to help the bees out, uh, I'm going to feed them until the blackberries start to bloom. Then once the blackberries bloom, I'll go ahead and put my honey supers on. I'll remove these and I'll let the bees store up the nectar from whatever they can gather around the environment and make uh, just nice native honey. Now this is just sugar water. All this is is like 50% sugar, 50% water. Now it's nothing fancy. Now to each um, container I'm also going to add uh, a tablespoon of vinegar and this will help the bees gut and also help keep algae and mold from forming inside of the container. So I have here four one gallon carboys. Uh, I've been saving these back to be able to make some table wine from my grapes I've been um, growing and harvesting. But we're going to use these uh, instead to store and make bulk bee honey. So what I did is I took a little plastic bottle and I cut the bottom off. I'm gonna use that as a funnel. We're gonna go ahead and pour the sugar in about halfway and then we'll add water, shake it up to emulsify that sugar in the water and then top it off with water, shake it up with the vinegar solution. And now we can do the next one. And the next one. Okay, that was just enough sugar to complete three gallons. Uh, so I gotta make a note of that. 10 pounds of sugar, three gallons. Now, all, to this, I'm going to add some uh, hot water halfway. Now to this, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of vinegar.
Okay, we'll take that off. We'll put the caps on. Once we all got them topped off with water, we're going to go ahead and put the lids back on and then give them a shake. And then we'll sit here and watch them emulsify. Now that they're all uh, emulsified, we're going to go ahead and remove these lids and fill up all four of these jars so we can get the bees fed. We'll start with this one. Okay, one gallon holds uh, a little bit more than these three or these four jars do. Now these lids, they have little tiny holes drilled in them. And uh, that keeps the uh, water from dripping out, just pouring out. This uh, the, the, the holes are small enough that the water tension stays in until the bees l stick their little tongues up through those holes and, uh, and feed. So let's go take these out to the beehives. Okay, ladies, dinner is served. Al fresco. There you go. After a while, you'll start seeing bubbles bubbling up and that indicates that the bottom of it is full of bees. Just licking that nectar. Oh, they sense it. They're gonna be looking for it. Well, that's it on this program on just simply feeding the bees and how I mix the solution. Now the rest of the, the sweet honey mixture or sugar mixture will be stored over here in the bee barn. And that way, when I notice the jars are low, I can go ahead and grab a carboy and bring it out and fill those uh, jars up and keep these ladies fed. That's only until the blackberries begin to bloom. And that's because uh, that here is indicates the peak of the nectar flow. 
So I want the bees to be able to harvest from the flowers that are bloomed right now. We've got a lot of wildflowers that are blooming all over the place right now. And I'm allowing them to gather all the nectar and pollen that they need to store up for them in the lower chambers of the hives. And soon, once the blackberries bloom, I'll go ahead and put what we call a queen excluder on the top of the frame and we'll put a honey super on top, which is a shorter box and the bees will pack that full of honey uh, and, and the queen excluder keeps the queen out of those chambers because we don't want the queen laying brood in the honey supers because I want to be able to just to stick those um, honey frames right in a centrifuge and spin it, spin the honey right out of that after we decap the uh, honey. So that's it as far as beekeeping goes and feeding the bees. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm in the apiary uh, of the homestead. Please stay tuned to more videos. You can do that by subscribing, clicking that bell icon, and please give us a like. That really helps out the channel. Leave a comment if you wish, and also click that share button. Sharing my videos on your social media platforms really helps out a lot. Hey, we'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye-bye.